am a local comedian here in Charlotte, and I thought, wow, it's an evening about romance and love, desire, dating, and what is more romantic than a PowerPoint presentation? Thank you. So, so tonight, for you, gentle people of Starlight on 22nd, I will be ranking the state panhandle, panhandles based on how sexually aroused they make me. Indeed. So, guys, what even, what even is a panhandle? There's a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of confusion. So in order to define what panhandles are, we have to define what panhandles aren't. So is a panhandle someone who takes, is it someone who takes care of a Chinese bear? No, that is a panda handler. That is a, that is a panda handler. Is it that thing where at the end of season two uh, in the office, right, Jim kisses Pam and then Pam says, no, I'm still gonna marry Roy. And so Jim moves off to, to Stanford, uh, but then the Stanford branch closes, so he comes back, but now he's dating Karen, and now Pam, now she's with Roy, but then she tells Roy, hey, just so you know, while we were engaged, I kissed Jim, then Roy gets really upset, he rushes into the office, he's like, hey, Halpert, and then he's just about to punch Jim, but then Dwight comes in with the pepper spray. Is it that thing? No, that, is a Pam scandal, and it's a Pam scandal. Is it somebody who defaces a baked custard? No, that is a flan vandal, flan vandal. Is it American comedic actor with impeccable fashion sense? No, no, no. That is Adam Sandler. Okay, what about this? Is it a wick that's encased in wax and then it's marketed to a male audience? No, 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 no. That is a man candle. That is a man candle. All right, I hope you like these guys because we were doing them all night long. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, is it footwear made out of bacon? No, that's a ham sandal. That's a ham sandal. Okay. All right, how about this? Is it a Baroque composer who is attracted to all, all genders, uh, you know, just regardless of their, all people regardless of their gender identity? Mm. It's, a, yeah, it's a panhandle. It's a panhandle. <laughs> yeah, it's thinking about dicks and boobs. There, yeah, we got it. Um, all right, so. I actually found this dictionary definition of panhandle. So here is the dictionary definition, plural panhandles, it's a noun, and it is a narrow strip of territory projecting from um, <laughs> uh, the main territory of one state and um, <sighs> penetrating another state. <sighs> Okay, okay, we got it, that's the definition. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead, let's get into the rankings now, folks. Um, uh, so uh, guys, most people only know about a few panel, but the United States is home to, in fact, 10 panhandles. You heard that right, folks. 10 very, very sexy panhandles. Okay, so coming in dead last, you already know, the Connecticut Panhandle. My intense lust for panhandles cannot, cannot overcome my hatred for Connecticut. No! No. Boo! Boo! Boo. All right. Coming at number nine, the Maryland Panhandle. Now, at first glance, 
a perfectly respectable panhandle, but you guys might not know that in 2015, the counties that made up this panhandle, they wanted to actually separate from the rest of the state, call themselves West Maryland, because they felt they could create a state that better represented their own culture and values, of values such as water sports, <laughs> and, uh, and not letting the gays get married. So I gotta ding them some points from that, because you guys know how much I hate jet skis. Uh, all right, moving right along. Eight, eight. We have the Western Virginia, the Eastern Panhandle. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, Eastern Panhandle. Does that mean that the state of West Virginia has two panhandles? And that is correct. So the state of West Virginia has not one, but two panhandles. So, uh, to, so separately, I would rank these guys eight and seven. But then uh, when I think about them together and just the idea of being uh, double penetrated by uh, two panhandles. <laughs> oh boy, okay, okay, I gotta keep moving. I can't, we gotta keep going, guys. Okay, so moving right along. Number six, Nebraska Panhandle. It's a good panhandle, perfectly respectable. It's got stuff there, like uh, that, that's, that's, that's there in the panhandle. Uh, and it also has, has, oh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh no, okay, that's that, yeah. That's, that's there, that's pretty sexy. So, yep, that's my ranking of the Nebraska panhandle. All right, guys. Um, oh, I think my clicker might be on the fritz. Okay. Oh, well, we're halfway through the presentation. So it's time for a halfway through the presentation PowerPoint dance. They say everything is bigger in Texas, and that does include their panhandles. But folks, there is a thing as too big. Sometimes, for some of us, there's a thing as too big. Sometimes, like, oof, that panhandle is poking right into my Oklahoma, shifting around my state. <laughs> Sometimes it's too much, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the Texas panhandle here in fifth. All right, moving right along. Who's a hoe? I'm a hoe for this panhandle. That's all I got for that one. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, number three, Oklahoma panhandle. Classic, beautiful, just a good panhandle. But my only critique is that the state of Oklahoma it looks more like a pot, and that looks more like a pot handle than a panhandle. So I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna go third. All right, next up, we have the Florida Panhandle. Now, okay, okay, wait, 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 hear me out. Okay, so I actually have a special connection to the Florida Panhandle. And uh, so when I was in college, I was actually a little bit different than I am today. I was part of this evangelical Christian group, and we would go down there and we would start, we would evangelize to other people who are on spring break. And so, you know, so I was out there, I was saying like, hey, Jesus is cool, repent for your sins, you're going to hell. But inside, in my mind, all I, all I could think was, oh, yeah, I am so deep in this panhandle right now. I am, I am in this panhandle. Oh. So that's why I rank it second. And uh, there's proof. There's me. There's me. <laughs> Worshiping Jesus. And look at me now, doing a PowerPoint on, on, uh, on, power, on sexy panhandles. Look how far I've come, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So um, before I reveal the panhandle that I find most sexually arousing, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's PowerPoint presentation sponsor. I'd like to do that. So 
Ladies and gentlemen, does anyone in here like plaid? You like plaid, brother. All right, how about this? Does anybody here like penises? All right, all right. I have a little something for you then. I call it the plaid penis plushie, patent pending. Introducing the plaid penis plushie. I don't know if you can see, it's got, it's got, it's plaid, it's a plushie. Yeah, look at, look at it. Yes, it's the latest craze to hit the plushie world by store. Suck it, beanie babies. Yeah, now you may be wondering, whatever would I use this for? What, what use does this possibly have? Let me share with you today. You can use it as a neck cushion on a long and arduous transatlantic flight. You could give it to your grandmama for a Christmas gift she won't soon forget. Yeah, just tell her it's a pig cushion. This is for you, Richard. How about this? Is your dog Fido, is he being a bit unruly lately? Just give it to him as a chew toy, I'm sure he'll love it. And uh, maybe you're still not convinced. Maybe you still don't want to buy this. Well, here's one last scenario. Let's say you're uh, walking down the street and you see in the distance, could it be? Oh no, it's your ex, piano teacher, Mrs. Wharton B. And she's gonna ask, she's gonna ask, are you still playing piano, Christine? And you'll be like, no, uh, I play a little bit of ukulele now, but no piano. And she's like, well, I thought you had such talent when you were a kid, but you've just thrown it all away. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the plaid penis plushie, patent pending, you're gonna place it over your eye socket. And now you're gonna walk down the street in confidence, knowing out of sight, out of mind. So don't wait, order yours today. It's not a hard decision. It's, it's, a, it's a soft one, but, it, but it's also kind of hard too. But, it, but it's soft, it's hard and it's soft. Hard and soft. All right, but maybe you're like, well, this is fine, but you know, I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if this is enough for me. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Maybe you would like something a little more, and we have a new edition of the Plaid Penis Plushie that just came out. I'm gonna share it with you today. This is the Plaid Penis Plushie Extra Long Edition. extra long. Woo! Use it as a scarf or use it to reenact a scene from the movie Anaconda. <laughs> hey Anaconda, you ate my dog and then you ate my kids and then you seduced my wife and you had sex with her and then you ate her too and now you're going down Anaconda. Ah! I've never seen the movie Anaconda. I, I'm just guessing that's how it goes. So, order yours today. Order it today. Thank you. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> that's enough of that. Okay. All right. So, with that out of the way, it's time to get down to my number one ranking. So, uh, my favorite panhandle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in fact the Alaska Panhandle. Ah, some of you guys are surprised. So, what you guys might not know about the Alaska Panhandle is that in 1923, President Warren G. Harding, he, uh, he, uh, visited, he visited the Alaska Panhandle, and then a few months later, after his visit, he he died, oh wait, 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 no. I'm a PowerPoint master. He died, he's dead. <laughs> and at the time, doctors said, well, we think maybe it was a heart attack or maybe a stroke, but I know the truth, and now you all know the truth. 
that he went to that Alaska panhandle and it was just so sexy, he couldn't panhandle it. Oh. Thank you, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a wild ride, but uh, I'd like to thank everyone who made this PowerPoint presentation possible. My parents, Heidi and Gary McLennan, my eighth grade geography teacher, Mr. Wilson, Campus Crusade for Christ, Boo, right. Let's not thank them, actually, I'm gonna take them off. Okay, the plaid penis plushie, patent pending. Manifest destiny, Boo. <laughs> and Bill Gates, and Bill Gates. All right, all right. Guys, it's time for the end of presentation. Oh, oh, dance, dance party. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night.